Hey guys, happy Saturday on Sunday again. Um, I'm pulled up, um, just about to go into a friend's house where a bunch of folks are here. Um, and we're also here yesterday um, working on the mystery hunt, um, which I briefly mentioned a few weeks ago. Um, we won it last year, so we're organizing it this year, and the group has been planning this all year, and it happens next weekend, so that's this crunch time, and so I was really busy yesterday doing that, and I'm going to try to put in some time today, and um, um, so, yeah, so I'm one of the people who is test solving, so I actually haven't been doing work all year, um, I only recently started receiving puzzles and things and trying to figure them out and solve them so uh, to provide feedback so they know what works and doesn't work, um, so I'm trying to finish that up. Um, so, I mean, that's mostly what I've been doing this weekend, and then during the week I got back from L.A. It was great to see you guys, um, and um, and work has been really busy. I might also try to squeeze in some work today. Um, I really was intending to not take so many vacation days by working remotely while I was in L.A. and North Carolina, and it kind of worked, kind of didn't, so I feel like I need to make up some of those hours, um, you know, some this week and so on. Um, so the theme this week, um, I haven't gotten a chance to catch up on everyone's videos, so I don't know what other people have said. But the reason that I picked this was, for whatever reason, while we were driving along in L.A. shortly before I had to pick a theme, um, I was thinking about how I had got accepted into a frat my freshman year of college. Um, and I basically had to pick, did I want to live there, did I want to live um, um, in a dorm? And... Um, and I was just thinking, my life would have turned out, I think, very different um, if I'd gone with the frat. Like, um, everything about my life um, pr pretty much came out of the dorm that I lived in. Um, in fact, this group, this mystery hunt group, is a bunch of people from that dorm. Um, and, um, you know, even, even not just that, like... Um, basically, the dorm that I ended up in was is very random. Is the name of the dorm? Um, very geeky, um, very outcast, very alternative, very um, no responsibility. Like, you know, just really very laid back, um, and and just people doing what they want and being themselves and having fun. And um, and I think that I liked the lack of responsibility. Uh, I lacked liked the ability to be myself and that there were people there who got me and we could be stupid and weird and and whatever um the frat that i got accepted into um and declined um was you know at mit so there, there's certainly a few party frats and things and but there are also a few sort of frats and sort of co-ed living groups that are very um alternative or or geeky and this actually wasn't one of those, but of the sort of straight-laced fraternities, um, this was certainly the, the geekiest. Um, and so I don't think it would have been, you know, I would have been like this party preppy, whatever, you know. I would still have my, you know, geeky weird side, um, um, you know, come out there. But um, but it would still have been a, uh, a more responsible, more um, straight laced a bit um, environment, I would have had a community of people, I would have, you know, and I would have met totally different people, and I can't even imagine how I would have turned out. I think I like organization, I like having support of, you know, the other folks. I think the certain side of me, like in high school, I was in junior ROTC, believe it or not, and I enjoyed um, the structure of that. I really, you know, enjoyed that, and I think that side of me would have been nurtured in the frat environment and I think you know who, who knows well I, re I really can't imagine how because uh, all the people you know including the people who um who supported you know the invention of Julie <laughs> um you know from random um a, a lot of my wow just all my friends and everything that I'm into that they've introduced me to um, you know, comes from that. And I mean, I'm certainly a believer, you know, at MIT, basically when you come or the way it used to be, when you come in, you had a chance to look at all the dorms and pick one and, you know, or pick three and you were sort of a lottery and you got into, you know, whatever. And, you know, there, there's a percentage of people who, um, you know, just after the first semester and I had a chance to change, 
get the switch out of wherever they ended up. Um, really didn't like it and didn't think they fit. But for the most part, people didn't change. And I, you know, I'm, I'm of the opinion that um, for the most part, people are happy wherever they end up. And it nurtures some side of them that, um, you know, that, that you know, they, they, they adjust to that environment. Um, and I, you know, if I had ended up in a different dorm, I think I would have been happy and I would have clicked with that dorm and I might have been, you know, different. So um, the fact that I, you know, ended up in a particular dorm I did, I don't think, you know, I can't tell if that was, you know, because that was the dorm for me or because, you know, you know, I'm an impressionable young kid and, um, and it was, you know, good enough and it worked for me. And I became that person. I mean, but I also don't necessarily think that I became a person I wasn't. But certainly, I feel like you know we all have different, um, different features of us, and you know the environment we can be in can you know expose those different sides, and we can you know um, emphasize different parts of ourselves depending on the environment we're in. Um, and you know, I don't. Um, and maybe we would, maybe I would have ended up at the same place eventually, or, you know, close to the same place, but have gotten there through a different route. Um, but yeah, I really, though, think I would have, you know, just emphasized totally different characteristics of myself if I had gone into that frat. And, um, and that's what, um, prompted my thought. Um, I did see the movie Sliding Doors, Jenny, um, although with my memory I've really forgotten it, so, um, <laughs> and this has gone way over, but, um, I have to go inside, um, I will see you guys next week.